Colleges 5 meters Norm Hall, Getty Images Tempe, Arizona, January 9th, Arizona Cardinals new head coach Cliff Kingsbury talks to the media at the Arizona Cardinals training facility on January 9, 2019 in Tempe, Arizona. Photo by Norm Hall, Getty Images by Selby Lopez, staff writer at Lopez Selby 31 Some have questioned how ex-Texas Tech coach Cliff Kingsbury, who amassed a 35-40 record in six seasons in Lubbock, was a highly touted NFL coaching candidate. A day after Kingsbury was hired as the Arizona Cardinals' new head coach, WFAA's Dale Hansen provided his commentary on, Hansen Unplugged, on Wednesday about white privilege in the NFL coaching ranks. Here is what he said, there's been a lot of criticism of the Arizona Cardinals hiring Cliff Kingsbury as their new coach. Even my guys Mike and Jonas have been questioning that hire. But Kingsbury fits all the criteria to be a head coach in the NFL. He's an offensive genius, he's young and he's white and not necessarily in that order. There have been six new coaches hired so far, all white and two coaches of color they're replacing. Steve Wilkes out of Arizona after just one year, Vance Joseph in Denver after just two, Cowboys coach Jason Garrett is in his ninth year, apparently because he wins so much. National reaction to ex-Texas Tech coach Cliff Kingsbury jilting USC for Arizona Cardinals, Kansas won't be on the schedule in the NFL, a lot of people don't understand how Kingsbury could have a losing record at Texas Tech, no NFL experience and get one of the 32 NFL jobs. But getting fired at Tech doesn't eliminate him from moving up, at least it doesn't to me, I've had 11 jobs in my life, been fired from 8 of them and moved up every time. And I am arrogant enough to tell you, I think Channel 8 was right to give me another chance. But I am the product of white privilege in America and I've never denied that I wasn't either. They made a poster, my picture should be on it. Getting fired at one place and getting a chance at the other isn't the problem, but young, talented coaches of color not getting the chance, that's a huge problem. The covert racism of the NFL ownership group is so bad, the NFL had to make a rule so that minority coaches could at least get an interview. Cowboys secondary coach Chris Richard has been interviewed and there are reports saying he might get the Miami job. After what he's done with this Cowboys defense, how could he not? Unless it is true what black parents have been telling their children for decades now, you have to be twice as good to go half as far. I dream of the day when those parents are wrong, because now they're not.